Welcome back to the Halftime Show here on K105. It's time for another edition of our Cougar Conversations. Today, we are at Grayson County High School talking with senior Lainey Anderson, who is a member of the Grayson County High School Art Department and Art Club. Lainey, one of the first questions I always like to ask is, and I steal this from Judge Executive Kevin Henderson, but I'm sure people listening, they might hear the name and they're thinking, huh, I know that. So he always asks people when he doesn't know them, who's your family? So, so who is your family to introduce people to you? I am Wallace and Sissy Anderson's daughter and the sister of Laska Anderson. Okay, so there you go. Immediately people know, okay, they can draw the comparisons with that. Uh, you are here representing art today. And this might be a loaded question, but how long have you been doing art? Me personally, I, I've done it my whole life and I have been involved in the art club here since my sophomore year because my freshman year was, you know, it was COVID year and so we couldn't really do much. But since then, like in the past three years, we've really, really bounced back and been able to do like a ton of stuff with the community that we're all really proud of. Do you remember your first time you ever did art or one of the first big projects you actually did? Uh, I remember being in like fifth grade or so and I entered a painting into this contest that we had at like my old school. We, my, uh, I went to Hope Christian Academy and we went to a big convention and I entered a painting in there and I didn't win anything but it was like my bit, my first experience like putting my art out there. Your art club has been very, very active over these last couple of um, years, months, weeks, and so on. And I know when I was talking with Karen Lewis, she said, okay, you got to talk about this project, you got to talk about this project, you got to talk about this project. So I'll just go one by one, get some stuff at the hospital. What was that? Yeah, we, with um, a bunch of kids doing paintings in wind classes that Miss Dowell has and like art club, like paintings, like they've donated to give to the hospital uh, and to decorate the uh, hallways at the hospital to like make it pretty and like for patients you know it can be kind of scary to go into a hospital you know like just a really sterile environment so like having art there just it brightens people's days I think. A couple of weeks ago it was Red Ribbon Week it's always hard for me to say Red Ribbon Week say that five times fast and you all did some work at the LPD as well what did you decorate on LPD's windows? Since it was so close to Halloween, we did a say boo to drugs kind of theme where we had like the Ghostbusters logo. It was like say no to drug, drug busters. And, you know, we had um, tons of different things uh, to, you know, celebrate Red, Ri Ri Red Ribbon Week. Right <laughs> um, and that were just, you know anti-drug and like very fun you know it, it wasn't like super super weird or anything you know I know one of our good friends at the radio station is Debbie Childress over at the Grayson County Alliance we love Debbie and the Colonel as we call her and one of her big fundraisers every single year is Empty Bowls and I know that one of her big partners through Empty Bowls is you all at the art department how do you all help with that in Miss Dow's win classes and with the art club in general, um, a lot of our students will make uh, ceramic bowls um, with you know the clay that we have. We make a lot of pottery, um, and we will donate them to be auctioned off. And the proceeds for that goes to you know the food pantry. Empty bowls is like where they get auctioned, auctioned off. <laughs> It's a really cool event that they do there. I know you told me when you came in that you said you have to specifically mention about something about face painting and how you all get, get uh, called in to do that. So for someone watching and they're seeing some of the, the art that you all do and they're thinking, I have an event, I need a face painter to come because who doesn't love their face getting painted for the kids? How can you all help? Yeah, um, a lot of like elementary schools and like events have asked us, uh, asked Miss Dowell specifically to send kids to be able to you know face paint for for kids and stuff, and that is such a such an undertaking that we have decided that like we can definitely do that for like a fee and all of the proceeds will go to the art club you know to give our students like more opportunities and like pay for our materials and stuff like that. I know coming up soon is Art on the Square, which I don't really know anything about. So can you tell, can you tell me something about it? Absolutely. Um, for the past three years, the art club um, and like art students that Miss Dowell, like she picks, uh, we have, we paint 
Christmas scenes on windows all around the square. Like, it's been like really popular in the community uh, the previous two years that we've done it. We started out, we painted the windows of 18 businesses on the square, and this year we are set to do 26 businesses. So we are very, very excited. That's really cool. I know we're driving around the square. If the square keeps on improving, that's one of the things that helps with that. And then I think my last question for you is people watching, they're hearing all of the ambitions you have during school. What's next for you? Is art in your future? For me? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I personally, I plan to go to Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. It's kind of my dream school. Um, And I am going to study fashion. (laughs) That's really cool. Good luck. Good job on this as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. And if you want more information, you can always contact them and they can be able to help you out on getting some art in your building as well. So we'll take a break and have more on the Halftime Show after this. 